YouTubers, good morning today again. Welcome to BMW Programming and Encoding Channel on YouTube. Today we are working on a BMW. A BMW what? Where is my team viewer console? It's a BMW F36. Alright, and um, our ISTEP shipment here is for F20 2015 March 1203. Blah blah blah. So we can see the owner said he replaced the IHK and he replaced this as well. This is the seat model for driver. IHK is the AC controller. All right. All right. So we you can look here. You can see at the bottom of the list there. There's no CAFD file in that, so that need to be coded. And there's a CAFD file there, but there's no. Uh oh. Up. Oh, yeah. This one look like it's. Um. I don't know if this is plug and play, but let us click on color PCU function. And let us take a look at the software unit is for nominal. All right. All right. Nominal here. Tell us what is expected on the module, and let us look if both uh, files are compatible. These software IDs right here. Uh, these BL, BTLD are bootloader, CAFD is coding application file data, HWAP is other application and other element, other electronic, and software flash file. These look like they are okay to me. Seem like the seat model is a plug and play here. All right. Only thing that you know you can see the numbers here will want to be updated, but the IDs are is okay. All right. So we're gonna click on this one. Call up that one. I H A I H K. Woo. All right. So those who got nominal, nominal mean what is expected. Like it's sol, you know. So. All right, as you can see here, the bootloader for this is two zero two nine seven three, and the other specification, the other application is two ninety four. Okay. Ah. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, two ninety four. And the, okay, you see that the coding part is one six ee. There's nothing here over actual. Actual is still in the present state of the model. All right, so we're gonna flash that. So. All right then. So. <laughs> I'm going to click software update. Let us see if it will. Let me see if it comes up with other difference for these control model. Let me see if we can use is uh is the D here to do to do it instead of ESIS. Well, pause the video for now and we wait. Okay, YouTubers, as you can see right here, the um the um the control models to be updated is going to take one hour twenty seven minutes, all because of the ED unit. All right, and that is why it's gonna take that long. Anyway, hey, we ain't gonna bother do that. You know, we're gonna use Isis to just. Uh, uh, he said he replaces this one only, so we're gonna do just that. All right. Woo! Disconnect from car. Oh, I didn't say vehicle data. Oh crap! I didn't say vehicle details. Default center. All right, we're gonna disconnect from. Um, we're gonna disconnect right now from Easter D. All right, it says the connection to the vehicle with vehicle identification number GV4713 will now be interrupted. If programming is in progress, this may result in an invalid vehicle state. Are you sure? Of course. Boom shakala. Minimize the boy. And lock off the boy. All right, boom. All right, easy snow. Which one for run? Chinese wonder man, we're on a Chinese boy. Yaga, yeah, yeah. China laptop that the boy boy is it. Fly up on the screen. Boom, shakalak. All right, this bad daddy, you know. Reserve icon. It takes long to reserve. You see, look at it. All right, this car is a F20. Right here, and read VCM. Um, this is it right here. All right, let us click now. Let me see. 
All right, good luck. We're free to the um, high step. Read out FA, activate FA, FA, activate vehicle profile. You have a read SVT. Alright, and then we um we're gonna save the um wait a minute. I did copy something. Alright, I'm gonna copy the name of this uh, as usually. I'm gonna save SVT. Oh, come on, shit. Copy that and then we click complete flash and then oh wait a minute. Oh the system don't set up right. All the PSDZ data target files are not in this that's why I don't like this Chinese bullshit laptop in you know, a man. I don't like this stupid ass laptop. Okay, you see right now you can truly calculate uh SVT target, you know? Can't calculate so because of the Chinese setup of this shit. You know, because you know this look a shit house they put right here, man. This bullshit is 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 plus shit, you know. It's just it's a garbage, you know. And I don't even know where it's reading the PSDZ data from. And if I go here, this is this the right here. If I go file location, it's right here on C drive, and um, it's supposed to be reading the PSDZ data from right here in this folder. I see it's corrupted. It has this is so, so this is the stupid ESIS that is launched right here. You can't see this right here. You just can't see all the files, you know, you can't see all of it because it that's set up to suit those Chinese bitches. You know. This is where this ESIS plus is reading from right here. This look a picture shit. It's reading from right here. Uh, but it does is this it is seeing the targets. It is basically seeing the targets like um you know like like what we what, like what what that like what we um read out here it's seen the targets right here these right here these are the targets but it, when when you when you actually um when you do connect you know you just cannot you just cannot see this right here enable you see that Construction says, see, it's all called fucked up setup. I bet this doesn't have any token. I bet you any money it doesn't have any token. I bet you any money. It doesn't have any fucking token. See that? There's no EST token right here, see? So that is the reason why we don't have any ice step target highlighted here and any ice step shipment. God, this is all called fucked up Chinese shit setup. And it's 3.271. We're going to install it. Um, remove it. But let me save the FA. You know, if I can save it, let me go here and save the FA quickly. Go in expert mode and you know VCM and go here. Oh, the FA can't even be read because there's no EST token. Oh, oh, I disconnected. Let me connect back here. Read that step. Read this. Activate FA. All right, see right here, it's trimmed. You see, a vehicle profile are trimmed. You can't see them. You know, you can't truly see the vehicle profile. Like um, right here, you can't see them like right here. See, you see this look a bullshit that set up right. Well, let me see if I still can save the FA. Let me see if I can save the FA. And I can't even save the vehicle profile because it's useless, you know. There's nothing here to save. It's trimmed. And this dude is tech, uh, what, do, what do you want now? What, what does this dude want now? Oh, man. Fuck it. How does do dude uh, fuck with me now? All right. I have to remove this shit. Almost 10 friggin' minutes and I can't even fucking ride to the car yet. You know what I mean? All right, let me go to back to expert mode. Let me go to the coding era. Let me see if I'll be able to write a file, a coding file to the um the IHK because that is what the Chinese assholes sell the dude. You know what I mean? If you go here and go to IHKK, let me see if we will be able to determine. Detect. 
Okay, you see it doesn't work because I see right here it's grayed out. Whenever you click on a control in the description file like right here, detect CAF for SWE should be highlighted black so you can click on it, you know. It's not there, you know. So we're pretty much screwed. This is the model we're gonna write a coding file. You see you click on the description file on the on its um address seventy eight. You see, it doesn't really highlight this here. So this set this, this system here is broken. It's not set up right, you know. I just can't find another ESIS launcher. I have to go fishing. Let me search. Let me see if there's a launcher there. Uh oh. Garbage. Okay, now I set up ESIS. My ESIS on the system. I'm gonna try to see if I can um ah uh, ESIS there, blah blah blah. Alright, lock out that. Alright, try go fishing now. Let's just look if I2 radar is still running. Alright, so reserved. Remember I step target was blank out and grayed out an I step shipment. Alright, we have to set up the ICOM IP address here. We'll go filter with these. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. E running a F20. Choose that, and then we go here. I to radar and choose out. Yeah, guy, yo. Alright, read out I step shipment from car. So let us see if we go fishing here. If we get connection. There it goes, we got it. Alright, read out this. We can go to VCM. Let us see if vehicle profile is trimmed. It should have read out already, but this laptop is pretty slow as you can see you now. The vehicle details are right here. Uh, for vehicle protest, let us right click and say calculate FP. Alright, so we can see all of these details right here. Build level, everything. File here. Uh, we did save this already, FA. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Shit. Eey. Oh, no, 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 no. Tal. No, 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 sorry, not Tal. It's FP. What? It's FP. How am I stupid or what? Alright, we go to coding, right click here, activate. Alright, you see now? So I step target now, highlighted here. Read VCM. Alright, we did save SVT. Alright, we did. Now we can save this over. We're gonna calculate saw. Click complete flash. And we're gonna go down here to the IHK. This is it right here. Calculate Sol. Sol is nominal. Always remember that. Boom. Alright. Oh, we go down so many control models wanna be updated, so. Oh, Ross, it's so combi. The combi the hardware difference there replace the combi on the car. See hardware element in red. This is a blue file on the car 9C4 and this one. Alright. The red one determines 9C4 is so the hardware difference. Alright. Here's the IHK. As you can see as I click on it, you can see detect CAF for software unity. Thumbs up. So we're gonna do this. 
the tech and we're gonna look at high step treatment for the car it's about from about um we can choose any one of these from 2014 uh wait a minute high step treatment is what again all right can choose our last one at the bottom we can choose anyone you can choose any one of these coding right there the top one to still work so we'll go back scroll down look for it here's it and here's the CF the CAF in red this one's gonna override and there's no CF there if one was there it was read it out as act one in blue all right click right here or click oh what is where is where, where, where is this Simon? oh is this top You see that? Oh, I didn't save um this. I have to save Sol. Whoa. -wee. All right. See if I click on this, the coding for that is highlighted. But when I click on IHKA3, you see, it doesn't allow the coding to show up for this file to be written. I don't understand that metric. It, it is really weird. I don't know why. Why? All right, let me go back to um comfort mode. Boom. That one is first. I seen that one. Uh oh, load. Load SCT, we're gonna make a towel. Woo! Alright, gonna go to back to expert mode now. We're gonna go to towel processing. Um, we're gonna see the models that are check as the install There's a lot of them too. I mean this one combi is order difference that one only that one is that order difference meaning that wrong order variance But maybe all right, we're gonna now deal with the um the IHK. This is the only one you said you replace on the car This one right here Bootload update, software flash and coding. Alright, let us check software unity. We go fishing now. Boom. Eighteen minutes, eighteen seconds. Mark to be six, six, six. Aye.
All right. I went to the kitchen to put away my dinner plates and wash it out. So, all right, this IHK appeared to be um, flushed, bootloader, software flash, and um, coding application file data in. So, the updated master security module and reset. Babylon. All right, we can clear this now. Uncheck this. Go back right to comfort mode. And we go down to the ISK. We're going to read ECU. See now? Coding file into it. Everything is okay. It's only these to be updated, and this combi appear to be used and swapped. Okay. All these control modules need to be updated and so on. <coughs> I don't don't I don't getting paid for doing nothing else on this car. All right, the seat model here. On other 6D, this one need to be updated. I mean, uh, right, let me go in. Let me look at the VIN numbers on these two. Um, seat model two. All right, everybody now. You see the coding file now up here now to be here. Co detect CAFD for software unity. You see now. Or somehow ESIS determined that the damn CFD file is written to it. And if I click read ECU, you're going to see it now showed up. You see now? Alright, see it highlight like the tech CAF for software unity now in black? I'm oh, good. Alright, these are control models. The combi show other difference with these two green arrows right here. You show the combi was replaced. And this red file here, 9C4, determined to be red. But if I click other IDs from SD Actual, that will go away. And we can save this cell. And if we calculate another transaction list based off of that cell that we save with other IDs from SVT Actual. So, mm, there's nothing else I can do. Alright, this car is uh, finished right now, so we can disconnect from this. Let me release this. We're going to release that. We're going to minimize ESIS and then we're going to run ISTA D and read the car, vehicle data. In the meantime, I'm going to connect the own, contact the owner, this dude right now. All right, I'm going to call my bridge in now. Look if I come is free. Come boy, answer the phone. Hello? Hey, Ali, what up? Yes, man. All right, man, I coded the IHKA, so we're going to run this to D and read the vehicle details, and then we're going to see if we can delete file codes and run some service function, and then hopefully you can, you know, we're going to tell it to start car and see if the AC start to work, okay? Okay. Okay. The job, well, am I almost finished? What else to be programmed on the car? I'm sorry? What else to be programmed on the car? Um, only the, uh, the majority will just program. Okay, no problem. All right. Yeah, well, you can, you can see the other codes. All right, listen, the combi was replaced on the car? The combi, no. Only the, uh, only that major. Oh, how long you have this car now? Yeah, you did it already. Oh. Only this one is replaced. Okay. How long you had the car? The car? Yeah. Like a couple of months. A couple of months, okay. okay. Yes. All right, no problem, buddy. All right, we just read our vehicle data, we just wait, and then I go through it, okay? Then we'll finish, all right? Okay, but I just want to let you know the, uh, the screen. 
You yeah. want the dashboard? Doesn't work. I don't know if you could check it. Like, oh, the CID display doesn't come on. Yeah, I actually I replaced the cable that came from the radio unit, uh -huh. the navigation unit. Mm -hmm. Goes up to the screen. Yeah, that one is replaced, but I'm not sure if it's the right part number or right cable. Yeah, I yeah. Yeah, that would be likely the problem. It could be the cable not transmitting the data. Maybe it's not connected properly or it's not the right one, you know? Okay. Okay. Hey, how are you going to pay me? You're going to pay me about Cash App, Zelle? Um, it's up to you. Oh, which one do you have? Um, I have the uh, PayPal. I have only PayPal. Is there any like any apps I can? Yeah, yeah. Download yeah. Zelle. Download Zelle or Cash App. I don't. I don't like PayPal. <clears throat> I, I. Okay. 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 Say so Cash App. Yes, Cash App. Yeah. I'll just download it now. Okay. After that, we'll, we'll okay. Talk about it. okay. Ali? Yes, oh, oh, you're there. Okay, you're still there. All right, buddy. All right, the vehicle test done. Finish. Let me read out. Let me see the file system set up right here. Okay. Um. All right, there goes the file there at the bottom. CAFD. All right, let us display file codes. Gonna take a time. Display that. One hundred and twelve file codes we have, eh? All right, yeah. So system faulty, adaptive headlight system faulty. Oh, the existence of the fault is no. Said unknown. DME in transfer mode. I'm gonna delete that. Um, Ed, you need to see the no communication. You see that fault code right here? See that? Yeah, the connection, I think, so. It's, this, you see, yes, still under existence, it's faulty selected. I mean, the wiring, probably, maybe it's the wiring, the communication to it. All right, hardware fault, the emergency battery. Hmm. All right, it shows right here, IHKA, no coding data, you know what I mean? But it's lie, you know, it's just that we have to delete the file codes, you know what I mean? Okay. All right, yeah, so, um, okay now, huh? yeah, it should be okay now, yeah. All right, I'm going to delete the file codes and so on. So, um, internet week. All right, file codes. All right, the ISK now is in green, so that's good luck. Yeah, same thing again. Central sensor. Yeah, right. Communication fault. Central sensor X Y direction. Communication fault. Airbag drive of valve resistance too high. Driver's airbag interval stage two resistance too high. Are these disconnected right now? You said disconnected. Yeah, the airbags. Yeah, for the driver. They are all connected. Uh oh. Yeah. DME monitoring five volt sensor supply voltage. Outside valid range. All right, said absolute pressure sensor here. Intake pipe MOP sensor here. Electrical short circuit to earth. Valtronic system no movement and invite. The c can the car be started? Yeah, e EPS control unit initialization for steering angle loss of multi. Uh, okay. All right, let me let me. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <sighs> okay. All right, I'm going to run the service function for EPS startup, okay? Cause it lost the steering angle multi multi point value. So I'm gonna try to re I'm 
more like the Terran Voda system for our materials. All right, is the steering wheel, is it straight? Bro. Okay, all right. Your foot is not on the brake. Okay. All right, switch off ignition and wait 10 seconds. Okay. All right, turn it back on. All right, he said the measure has been completed successfully. All right, cool. All right, read this right here, the procedure over the left side right here, okay? I'm going to the left side. All right, all right, all right, all right no problem. Standard start up will be starting. But you have to be like in the car. Let me see what it is saying here. It said, he said, start the position of the steering wheel approximately 30 degrees to the right. You have to go. Yes, you have to sit in the car driver's seat. Yep. And you can start the engine tool to make it easy to turn the steering, okay? Just barely turn the steering 30 degrees to the right, you know? It won't start? No, start the car, man. Oh. Oh, yeah? yeah. All right, slowly turn the steering wheel. Little by little, okay? To the right? Yeah, to the left, full lock. But take time, take your time, barely turn it, okay? Barely turn it till it reach full lock. Barely do it. And when it buck, when it really buck and reaches the end, just hold it until you feel that you're gonna feel a feedback. I did a video of that procedure on my YouTube channel. Let me go get that video. All right, you did it. All right. All right, let go of the steering wheel. What is that? Let, remove your hand from the steering wheel. Alright, switch off the ignition. Say again? 
Switch off the English answer. Switch off. Yeah. Wait ten seconds. We wait ten. We wait ten seconds. Okay. Okay. All right. You can switch back on the ignition. All right, we wait. All right, it said. All right, it told. I see one part where it said the system was put in operation successfully. I saw. I saw that the synchronization must be ended with a manual terminal change. Synchronize the steering angle data with the following control unit from the system network to complete standard startup. Integrated system. Former information portion has been deleted. Alright, the synchronization must be ended with a manual terminal change. Manual terminal change. Alright, turn off the ignition again. Okay, now it's off. Alright. If the synchronization of the steering angle data was carried out. Alright, we wait 10 seconds, so no switch terminals, switch off, okay, alright, that is off, wait 10 seconds, and then, alright, alright, switch it on now, 10 seconds supposed to go on right now. So should I switch it on? Yes, yes. Okay, now it's on. The system network consisting of the following control units has been successfully synchronized and put into operation. Electromechanical porcelain and the integrated chassis management. So this should be okay now. The so standard startup will end automatically in the next step. Service was ended. Alright, that's supposed to be ended. Um, we go back here and we delete font memory again. Uh, the ECM... The ICM and the EPA should come back green, so we wait. Woo. All right, that is okay. The TCB not responding now. The telematic communication box not responding, so it's in red. All right, let me see. Twenty-five Falco as well. Fourteen speaker circuit detected. Interior light electronics incorrect version installed. Rain light sensor condensation sensor missing lean slave. Um, this car must be a car you bought from Action Man. That's be a project car. It wouldn't come. It wouldn't be like you have this car new, right? No, but uh, it's actually uh, from the Action. I don't play the front seat, the driver seat. Oh, you buy it from the Action? Yeah. All right, I said right here. C position sensor. C position not sent due to no or invalid calibration. All right, I'm gonna run service function for the seat. Oh, you put by the original control module? Yeah, so that's why it's uh, three the file, the cap 
Oh, so you, 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 oh, you purchased a used uh, driver's seat module, but we didn't program that, right? I purchased a uh, used yeah, seat, but the manual of the seat, I replaced it with the old one, the one that came with the car. Oh, you purchased a seat, but they use the same old module? Yes. Okay, no big deal, alright. It should be okay. All right, I'm going to carry out seat standardization. So hopefully this thing work right, you know? But the sunroof doesn't work. Oh, the sunroof doesn't work. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're not, are you still in the driver's seat? Yes. Oh, you have to get out. It's going to move. free yeah all right make sure there's no obstruction is in the way i'm gonna see if it i'm gonna run the command now is it moving yeah it's moving all right All right, so the standardization was done successfully, so end service function. I'll go back to troubleshooting. Delete font memory again. Okay, so the car was running and I drove it like several times. Yeah. But after I, I replaced the module of the AC. Mm -hmm. uh, can you repeat again? Mm -hmm. I drove it like a couple times, but after I uh, replaced the, the manual, mm -hmm. the AC heating system, it just won't start anymore. Oh, the car won't start anymore? Yeah. Like now? The manual replaced. Uh, oh, wait a minute. That's why I just said the car started. It was running normally. Eh? Huh? It was running normally, like before I replaced the manual. The one you you encoded. Oh, so oh, after I coded, the car now starts and runs. That's what you're saying. No, I mean before I replaced the manual, mm -hmm. it was running, and then after I replace it, it stopped. Like it won't start anymore. Okay. That's why, like you encoded the. Oh the yeah. Manual. Yeah. But but still the same problem. Won't start. Oh, it won't start now. Yeah, won't start. All right, we have to go through the file codes right here. This is a problem here. Could be this: DME monitoring, five volt sensor supply voltage outside voltage range. The set of file code is still existing. Maybe this is what causing the car to shut off right here. And this thing right here, absolute pressure sensor. This is a MOP sensor here on the intake manifold. All right, he said you have a short circuit to the earth. Okay, so you have to track down these issues right here, short circuit, and you have to run a multimeter test on the voltage on the wiring here and um, the wire diagram can be pulled up for these things inside of the test plan here so we have this one here at the top you see them they are high priorities that's why they're at the top you see them oh um, i'm not by the laptop right now just one second oh you have I to go there it. and look man i'm sorry i'm in the garage 
So how far away the laptop is from the car in the office? <laughs> it's in, no, it's in the inside the house. Oh, the okay. Oh. You looking? Yeah, DME monitor. Yeah, this fall code here, and this can cause engine to shut off. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So DME monitoring, five volt sensor supply, voltage outside, vol voltage range, and then absolute pressure sensor. This would be the MOP sensor that is installed in the intake manifold. It measures the, 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 the vacuum and the major difference between vacuum and atmospheric pressure. It said short circuit to, to earth, short circuit to ground. So okay. you're going to look for the MOP sensor. Are you going to look for a short in the brown wire? There should be a brown wire that connects to the sensor. It may be broken, you know, maybe shorted. So, um, I don't know what's, what sensor is this, the map sensor. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'll, I'll, I'll calculate the test plan. Let me calculate the test okay. plan, and I'm, we'll be Let's able to pull up those location of where those things are. <sighs> All right, first I click on filters here, and then we're going to... We're gonna turn on all of these, select all, and then apply means save them. They're gonna show up in the test plan. So what we'll do now, as you can see right here, SSP means wire diagram. If we go back to filters, you can look at their definitions. You see? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so if you wanna know what those things are, FUB, ABL, SSP mean, you can click on filters, and then you can see what the definition of them is. Whenever they are checked here with an X, it simply means they are applied or saved, and they showed up in the test plan, so that you can, you know, you can um, like the installation location. All right, it tells you where the MOP sensor is located and the wire diagram. So we're going to go fishing for that for okay. the, um, I'm going to go down and find the, um, oh, wait a minute. Here's an ABL for accelerator pedal module. Wow, this is faulty. Shit. And here's a power supply for the DME. Dominal voice for accelerator pedal module. And sensor system here for the DME. This is the wire diagram for it. This is the, um, the procedure. We're gonna um DME electronics again. Intake pipe. Here's the intake pipe. We're gonna see. We we'll click on that ABL to find out. Uh, hopefully, the, I hope the wire diagram will be which showed up um in this procedure. ABL mean procedure. So we are going to uh, okay. There goes the wire diagram there and the functional description. Functional description tells us how the system designed to work and so on. All right, over to here to the right. He said, read the fault description. It said, diagnosis monitors the bottom limit value for the voltage determined by the intake pipe pressure sensor. All right. The fault is recognized when the voltage of the intake pipe vacuum sensor is lower than the limit value. All right, it said, limit value between 2 tenths of a volt and 3 tenths. All right, call it for almost 4 tenths, depending on the variance. All right, cool. All right, let me see Control condition for fault identification. Uh, blah blah blah. All right, control unit voltage was between nine volts and sixteen volts. So, okay. mm, action in service. They say the action in service area that we should take is consequential fault. So consequential fault. Um, if additional di diagnostic fault codes related to malfunction, the following components have been logged. Process these um, problem first. Monitoring the voltage supply of the sensor. Five volt. Check wires and plug connection between DME and intake pipe pressure sensor. Replace intake pipe pressure sensor. Replace DME. You know they're giving us options there. You know, but I don't think the DME want to be replaced yet. You know, it could be either the sensor or the wiring. You know, the shorter ground. Uh, yeah, to. the sensor. All right, we'll go continue, go forward. Short circuit to earth. Sensor location. I might buy a new one. Said so check intake pipe pressure sensor. Let me see. All right. So well, my job is done here. You can solve this on your own. Uh, yeah. I'll try. Like. All right. No problem, buddy. Um. Our right, ears is here. Intake, air temperature charging pressure sensor seven. So we're gonna go on a diagram here. And look, find number seven. Seven right there. It's located right here. See where it's at? 
Okay. And yeah. the intake pipe from the intercooler. Okay, so the sensors need to be replaced. Well, you have to check out the wiring first. If the wiring is short yeah. circuit to ground, mean that the wire can be broken. It's short, it means that it's not touching body. All brought, okay, all I'll brought. Check the wires first. Yes, yes, yes. The brown wires are usually ground, so they usually go back to the body. Let's just click on the wire diagram here. And let's just uh, maximize this and click on full screen. And then we'll go zoom in and see if we can find that wire here. You know what I mean? Okay. Alright, here's it right here. Intake here, temperature, charging, pressure sensor. See so that? This is where it's located. You see that? Yeah. We'll click on the picture to maximize it. That is it right here. Okay. Yeah, I saw. Uh huh. This is it. You see that right here in the pipe? See it? So it looks like a mop sensor. Yeah. It's measured the charge here, pressure. You know. So the one with the Y six. One twenty or the no, other one? No. No. This one is it. Let us go back here and zoom in. So it'd be B8, B65 something, B65, okay, yeah, 60, yeah, 65, yeah. 80. You see that? Yeah, the other it, one. Okay. Yeah, it resembles a mop sensor. Okay, so that's the one you need to check out. Let us see if there's any more there. Intake manifold pressure sensor. It could be this one as well, B290. It could be this one, intake manifold pressure sensor. And, um,. You can check out this one as well, okay? Because this one is a part of the intake pipe, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. okay. and, the, and the fall codes, I told us it's an intake manifold pressure sensor, which I call a MOP sensor. It's really a MOP sensor. So yeah. this is the one right here, B290. And then um, B290 dot asterisk 1B is a connector that connects to the sensor. So you have to check out the wiring and find out. If you can trace it and find the broken ground, the ground is shorted. You check mm -hmm. both of them and try to see if the ground is intact, okay? Okay. All right, cool. And it's not all. Uh, just the only problem with BMW is that the spaces are too tight for you to do shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Tight, very tight. So you're sure like this is the problem, not starting the car. Oh, of course it can be a problem. The engine will, the yeah. DMU will shut off the engine because all the inputs are are not according to what is inside the software mm -hmm. map. You know what I mean? So yes, to protect engine from damage, DMU will shut off car. So then you have to know put ESTD on it to read out fault codes. Once you see something like these um, intake air temperature um, pressure sensor are the intake manifold pressure sensor. You can check out the wiring. Okay, All right, let, let me show you. Let me show you something on the wire diagram. As you can see, there's three wires connected to the sensor. This one right here that is now currently highlighted. See that? Okay. Yeah. The, the sensor connected to the ground. You can see ground right here is not identified by number 31. Okay. All right, it's grounded inside whatever the model is right there. It's grounded right there. It's only this wire is a signal wire right here at the top. USDF. That one right there that says blue with a yellow stripe. Okay. Okay, that one is a signal wire. But these two wires here, these are basically signal wires too, are voltage wires. But these, they are connected going down to a resistor. You see, they have a resistor. Yeah, yeah, I see. On pin, 20, pin 22, you see this one here connected to ground. You see that? Yeah, and the sensor is protected by the resistor, you see that? Okay. Yeah, and this resistor, it protects this transistor, you see that? Yeah. Yeah, so this is usually connected to the DME. Right here, where they connect it is in the DME itself, you know what I mean? These wires yeah, go yeah. back to the DME. So therefore, you have to check out the ones that are coming from Terminal 31, which is ground, okay? It could be one of these as an open or shorted, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um... It's simple to solve, man. Just find the wire diagram, use the common sense, and boom, you'll find it, you know? Yeah, I will check the wires, all the wires. Alright, so we finish off tonight? Mm, yeah. Alright, buddy. Like, if, it's, if the wires are good, like, should be the sensor, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It should be either the sensor or the wiring. Okay. What do you recommend, like, to buy them, like, new from the dealer? Or yes, yes, you can buy sensors new from the dealership. Yep, because they're okay. genuinely made by BMW um, parts manufacturers. Okay. They are original OEMs, you know? Okay. Okay. So, oh, you download the app, the Cash App stuff? Yeah, I, don't, I just download the app through eBay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to get one, yeah. one terabyte hard drive, and then you can put that in a faster laptop, and then maybe, man, if you have the money, you can buy a, 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 a you know, if you, if you have the money, you can purchase a, uh, one of those uh, uh, MSI GL73 or MSI GL75 that has the powerful i7 10 generation processor in it. Mm -hmm. And then 
you know, if you want, you can buy a one terabyte solid state hard drive and put in it, and then I can install over for you the software um, on that um, new hard drive, and then the laptop will be fast and so on. That's what they need. They just need a fast. I don't have the experience for these apps actually. Huh? I mean, I just bought the the hard drive and the icon you said to buy it. Oh yeah. Just to, yeah. yeah, just for you to help me with this. Yeah, man. Because I don't want to take it to the dealer. They charge a lot. All right. Yeah. 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 All right, man. I think it's finished now. All right. Yet. So, I don't know. I, I don't know how to use this. Ca uh, oh, you did you do you download Cash App? No, I haven't used it before, so. Yeah, man. Right, man. All right, buddy. Take care. Take care, man. You too, bro. Thank you. Yes, sir. Goodbye. Bye. Yes, sir. All right, YouTubers, we just program BMW F36 IHKA and we do some troubleshooting about other things that we initial, initialize um, um, driver seat module and also we initialize electromechanical power steering and basically have it sync with the integrated chassis management in this car. So therefore, he's going to track down the other problem by himself and then, you know, solve it. So thanks for viewing BMW programming and encoding channel on YouTube. Remember to subscribe. I am out.